Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to Two God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice! It is September the 16th, 2021. Today, the topic is boundaries. Friends, well, good morning. I will start things off by saying happy anniversary to my wonderful husband. Um, shout out to our five-year anniversary on today. Um, to be married to such a wonderful and supportive gentleman and um, yeah yeah I mean I, on one hand I was thinking to myself earlier I was like oh I couldn't have asked for someone better but I'm like well I think I did ask <laughs> I think I was very clear <laughs> with the Lord on, on what I wanted um, you know those of y'all that know my story know that but um but even so, uh, obviously, God does above and beyond what we think uh, and everything like that. And so, in human form, this gentleman named Adario says is, um, as some people, I guess, would say, like a manifestation of so many prayers and, and things that, uh, you know, I've had over the years. And so, here we are at our five-year anniversary, and to God be the glory, man, to God glory so um yeah (laughs) but aside from that y'all I mean y'all may notice that it is a little late for me um I am recording a little bit after the time that I usually do however I'm here you know I'm here to give you all you know give you all the juice and everything like that um I guess it just took me a while I was well one we was talking so (laughs) hubby and I uh, was talking and um and then after that I spent quite a while just really thinking about like different things and what I wanted to talk about but as well as just like what I'm observing what I'm observing y'all because on one hand to be completely honest it's like I feel like I am not fully understanding what I'm observing in regards to in fellow believers I mean just, let's just be honest um I'm really not understanding fully what I'm observing. Um, now, on one hand, I guess the Bible does mention, like, I mean, you know, I guess the great falling away and people being led astray and, and all types of things like that. So, I mean, maybe that's what it is, but I don't know. I guess I'm praying for more wisdom and understanding in that aspect. However, um, you know, I guess, long story short, this idea of boundaries. Um, I mean, there's a few things that inspired this uh, topic today, but, um, and one, I'm not sure if I want to go deep into, um, yeah, yeah, um, I do want to share with you guys, I guess, what happened yesterday, y'all know that I, um, had another interview with Speaking Grace TV, so, um, I will let you all know when it will air, I have heard it might air next week. Speaking of, these are the same ladies that are going to be on my show this week. Uh, well, tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. Because uh, today is, yep, today is Thursday. So, yep, tomorrow they will be on my show, the ladies of Speaking Grace TV. Um, you know, tomorrow at 7. Uh, if the Lord's will, should play on our Facebook and on our YouTube and everything like that. Um, but yeah, a lovely conversation with them again. I mean, you know. Uh, it just really feels as if I'm just talking to the ladies or, you know, just friends and almost family or whatever the case is, just talking to the sisters. That's how it feels like when I'm talking to them. And so, um, you know, obviously I feel like the conversation was just really natural and just really, you know, um, hopefully informative. And um, it's amazing because, like, when, when I'm talking to them, they make me feel like I'm an expert at whatever we're talking about. And it's not that I feel like I am or something. I just... I mean, I pretty much just share my experiences and share, you know, what God has done with me, through me, and for me in my lifetime, and that's all that I really can speak on, you know, but, um, it just, I'm just saying overall, it just feels nice, it feels good to, to talk to those ladies, so, um, but you'll see, you'll see tomorrow with them being on my show, um, you know, you'll get a chance to see them. If you did not see our interaction already, when I visited their platform, months ago um and we were talking about love so 
but anywho um so this this talk about boundaries man like goodness gracious okay like okay so i feel like this is something that i've had to uh i've encountered you know multiple times in my life this issue when it comes to boundaries um you know i've had people tell me that you know i was allowing people to cross certain boundaries um you know and things like that i mean maybe i just didn't necessarily look at it that way at the time when I was going through certain situations but at the same time it was like I guess as I learn and grow and you know get older and things like that you start to kind of clearly see how sometimes people cross the line uh, uh cross lines that they shouldn't you know and this is this thing talking about like one particular person this is just throughout my life I feel like I've, I've this has been a constant issue I guess you would say um and I feel like well from my understanding it seems as if those people that you know uh I guess are like me or maybe that are seen as meek or whatever it's like you know sometimes people feel the need or feel like it's okay to cross certain lines and boundaries um that they wouldn't personally want crossed, right? Like, you wouldn't want me to cross the boundary with you, but you feel comfortable to cross the boundary with me. Um, so, and this can be for a lot of different things, a lot of different topics, you know, obviously. But, I mean, I would say in this season, you know, um, you know, social media and, and all these different things, um, you know, I guess you, I could kind of see it happening in multiple ways right now some people hey granted let's just put you know something on the table maybe for some reason someone may feel like i am crossing a line or a boundary by talking about the bible right maybe somebody feels that way in their mind or something like that but um again i feel like context is important i feel like delivery is important i feel like Like, I don't know if it's the same, you know what I'm saying? Like, me being on my quote-unquote platform talking about what I want to talk about, how is that crossing a line for someone else on their platform? Like, you can be on your platform talking about what you want to talk about, right? Um, now, if I come to your platform and talk about whatever, then maybe I could be crossing the line, but it, it depends on, you know, what you're putting out there and stuff like that, right? Um, so in this, this idea again of social media and everything like that, it does get kind of iffy a little bit on boundaries because it's like, okay, well, you can't feel like no one can respond to you, right? If you're putting yourself out there or you're putting your thought out there online for everybody to see, you can't expect for someone not to respond, um, to something they see. Now, some may not, you know. Like I shared with you guys the other day, someone like me, I might just, okay, I'll see what you said. Uh, and if I, maybe I, I agree, maybe if I don't agree, maybe I'll comment, maybe I won't. Um, you know, and that's something like that. But when that, when those type of conversations um, take place, like, I guess, in your, your real life, I mean, you know, sometimes people have that issue when it comes to marriage, right? Um, sometimes people have that issue when it comes to friendships, uh, when it comes to uh, different relationships uh, and everything like that. And so um, so at some point you have to set boundaries and um, and stick to your boundary, you know. And, um, and people, we just need to understand that at the end of the day, regardless of how we think and feel about someone else and their and whatever um, issue it may be, it's like we have to understand that, you know, people uh, I know my mom say all the time and I know she's been joking about it a lot lately <laughs> um and I know she said it even yesterday um we, we were talking about um you know a future book project and whatnot um she mentioned like oh well you know well you don't have to take my advice or whatever 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 and and I guess my whole thing is you know I appreciate that because I mean at least she knows that okay I can make my own decision at the end of the day about what I would like to do and and it's not necessarily an issue um 
and everything like that. But unfortunately, everybody don't feel like that, right? Because some people feel like um, people should do what they want them to do. Um, but one thing that I noticed, even when I was looking into um, Genesis, <laughs> um, I want to say that was last week. And I know I heard another minister, I want to say I heard someone say it yesterday, um, a minister or someone, that basically we don't have the authority, like God gave us authority of a lot of stuff, right? But authority over another human is something that he didn't necessarily give. Um, now, now I do recall there being things like, God, the husband, the husband over the wife, the wife over the children, and so on. Now, I, I will acknowledge that, you know what I'm saying? However, outside of that, you know, that's why all these things are an issue um, that are happening. Like, that's why there's an issue when it comes to, um, you know, the way that slavery was done, you know. Um, there comes an issue where, you know, anybody that feels as if they need to dictate to someone anything, really, because God gave us all free will to do what it is we want to do. Um, even unfortunately, the things that are evil and bad, like you are free to do those things. However, it's clear in the word that, you know, not all things that we're free to do, we should do. Um, you know y'all can look at what the actual verse says but it basically says things along those lines of like you know basically everything is lawful yeah you can do it but that don't mean you should and and that's the thing um but again i say unfortunately because you know like unfortunately we got to deal with the consequences of it but yeah unfortunately god gave us the free will to make choices and do what we want to do so therefore no one should be able to dictate to anyone what they should do let people be led by their own minds let people be able to make their own decisions and that's what it should be according to the bible according to what god the god-given rights or whatever god-given gifts that he has given us a free will and um and yeah so when it comes to this conversation about boundaries it's like people cross those lines and people will cross those lines as long as you allow them to cross those lines so um what should we do right especially as believers what should we do about this issue of boundaries well here's some verses that i came across this morning and hopefully it will help us in this area so one uh, galatians 6 and 5 it reminds us of this here it says for each will have to bear his own load if i stop right there <laughs> i mean basically for me when i read that this morning it's pretty much reminding me that hey at the end of the day I have to count account for my own life, right? I have to account for my own choices, my own decisions. Like, no matter, and you know, I have my son and everything like that. I can pray the best for him and everything like that. But at the end of the day, at some point, you know, he's going to have to account for his own life. And, and it goes for my husband. It goes for any other person. Like, everybody has to count for themselves. They got their own burdens to bear. So, it says here in Galatians 6, 5, for each will have to bear his own load. So, let's keep that in mind. Hopefully that will help us with crossing lines and boundaries. But again, just something to keep in mind, just in general. Okay. So then check this out. Colossians 4 and 6. It says, let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. Now, this is one of those challenges, right? When it depends on who you are <laughs> and, and what your struggle is. But this could be a challenge for someone that is... Um, maybe the opposite of me. Like me, I'm I'm the type of person where I'm like, you know, certain things. It de- it depends. It's like I really can see to a certain extent. Like when it comes to certain people, it's like okay, I can talk to this person. We can get some understanding. So I can ex- you know I can express myself to this person. And and we if we don't agree, we can agree to disagree. Like this is somebody that I can fully express myself to. And then I've also noticed that there's people that I can't necessarily express myself to. Maybe they don't have the understanding. Maybe they don't, you know, aren't open to whatever I'm talking about and things like that. So I I adjust the way that I speak to those people. (laughs) You know, maybe I don't fully express myself or maybe I don't fully express what I feel about this or that to those type of people. Because it's kind of, 
they're not trying to have conversation it's just to uh, talking to a brick wall like I, i've had i've encountered this so many times in my life so i think when i encounter people like that i'm just like oh okay you're that type of person okay this is how i can handle you so i feel like this is what that verse is telling us to do it or just to be aware of that hey you're not gonna be able to you know talk to everybody the same way with that being said if you're somebody that struggles with that like because there's people which i believe that there's a time and a place in the season for bold outspoken people i think you know if you're bold and you're outspoken i think that's a beautiful thing obviously like i said i feel like that's the opposite of me sometimes maybe that's something that god is working on in me or something like that to become more bold or something but um but for me I, like i just i just explained kind of how i handle stuff right now there's other people that no matter what they're going to say what they want to say they want to do what they want to do and they're going to tell you how they feel x y and z there's times for that and, and stuff so i don't take that away at all because there's there's definitely times and seasons for that to be done um and i like i said i can have an appreciation for people like that especially when they're speaking truth um but i mean i think that goes across the board this verse goes across the board to both sets of people um i think again because then those type of people they'll send it to wonder why they have issues right they're like well why don't that person or whatever and and this is why like uh, we have to just really see people for who they are right and where they are who they are and where they are yeah, that's good right there <laughs> but yeah we have to see people like that because um like i said there's there's just people that some that some you can communicate with fully and it won't be no issue and you can actually have a conversation it, it can you know be a healthy dialogue but then there's people sometimes where you you know if you come at them with that energy and then it's just going to go on and on and it's going to be this thing and it's going to become this mountain um of, of molehills and whatnot so again when we're thinking about boundaries i mean um you know j- this is just another verse that came up and so this is i guess something that we had to think about you know who we're talking to who we're dealing with and things like that um and hopefully you know um, allowing god to show us how to navigate those conversations uh with whoever we're talking to now let me see uh here's one i guess for people that are crossing boundaries right so here, here's a verse for y'all i'm just kidding I say. look look here's a verse for us right i won't take myself out of that category maybe somebody feels like i cross boundaries so let's just say for for people that cross lines and boundaries here is a verse for us <laughs> proverbs 25 and 17 it says let your foot be seldom in your neighbor's house lest he have his <laughs> lest he have his feel of you and hate you man listen i tell you sometimes verses in the bible just take me out of here i just be like they just make me laugh they just it's not and it's not funny i mean it's this is real this is real but to me like as i'm reading it and stuff i'm just like wow this is just so so blunt and i think the bluntness is was was hilarious to me um let your foot be seldom in your neighbor's house lest he, he uh have his fill of you and hate you like at the end of the day like again if we keep in mind that very first verse you know we all have our own burdens to bear right we all we all have to bear our own loads so um y- y'all know that song back in the day sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around by <laughs> like man sometimes or take the or the verse right that bible verse that was like you know hey why you trying to take the with the the sliver out of somebody's eye take the log out of your eye out of your own eye y'all know them verses man <laughs> But yeah, man, like, but we don't, I mean, you know, there's just some people that just don't do that. They want to stay in whatever, your house, basically. And it's like, okay, let, let me, you know, you know, work out my own salvation with fear and trembling. Like, so, how can I say it? Sorry. Um, oh, goodness. I don't know. Like, we just need to find balance, y'all we need to find balance like you can talk to people you can share your opinions and all this different stuff you can have conversations nothing's wrong with conversations and communication and stuff like that i mean now but you know again boundaries and lines get crossed when we exert ourselves into places that we shouldn't be right um and so 
yeah i mean it's just something to think about today y'all this is just something to think about today that's all i'm saying <laughs> um let me keep going um here's something that can help us with boundaries matthew 5 and 37 it says let what you say be simply yes or no anything more than this comes from evil well i mean you know sometimes we feel the need to explain right sometimes we like we be like oh you know because no because this then you or yes because this then you like sometimes just keep it at yes and no um you know um Again, maybe this will be a way to really clearly show, you know, that boundary or whatever the case is. If you don't want a line to be crossed, uh, I, I kind of, I'll be honest, I kind of struggle with this sometimes because it's like, I, I just really don't want to be disrespectful, you know what I mean, to my elders. I just really want to, you know give honor and you know respect to people you know what i'm saying now unfortunately what i feel like happens with me is people don't show me that same respect especially as an adult it's like okay you know my yes means yes and my no means no just like your yes means yes and your no means no like at the end of the day you know i just feel like really people should just put yourself into whatever the situation is like if you wouldn't want me to cross this boundary with you then don't cross this boundary with me um you know and and then when we try to you know set the boundary let's not go beyond about like like don't keep on uh going it's like my yes is yes and my no is no just the same now sometimes i feel like when we say it that blunt it, it can come across as disrespect or whatever and um and maybe i don't know if that's a southern thing or what um but that's just what the bible says here and i mean maybe this is something i need to practice more of just being like hey you know no explanation no going deeper into it my yes is yes and my no is no um but again you know i'm human i'm not perfect these are the things that i'm trying to figure out as well um so if you're somebody like me i'm just saying that you know maybe this is something that we all need to work on you know people that are like like me uh that yeah sometimes you just got to stand in what it is and um and let that be it um people may not appreciate that all the time but you got to think about for me it's like i have to think about it um i have to think about it from the full aspect because again i've observed this so many times people are totally fine with crossing boundaries with me but then if i were to do that to them it would be an issue and my whole thing is if you know let it be the same here you like <laughs> you know then allow me to I, and then, I don't know it's not that I go out of my way to do tit for tat that's not me I don't do that but it's like <sighs> I feel like people take advantage of people that don't do that like people take advantage of people like me because they know that I don't I won't do that back to them so then you feel comfortable treating me that way you know and it's just you know it's just one of those things where it's like we just gotta i mean well within ourselves we can we can't change what other people do but we can change what we receive we can change what we how we react and things like that so obviously you know i guess building up our own you know i guess wisdom strength whatever we need um in to deal with those things but uh but if you struggle with that if you struggle if you're someone that is struggling with people that are crossing lines and boundaries and you're like how can i get out of this then one of the ways to hear the word says is to you know again let our um yes be yes and no be no um at the end of the day there's one more verse i want to share um it wasn't necessarily under boundaries but it, it resonated with me today um proverbs 3 and 5 it says trust in the lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding so yeah at the end of the day like if you're following that then you are trusting in the Lord, right? You are being led by God. And so if you feel like you're being led by God, then do that, friend. It may go against the grain. It may go against what, you know, other people believe or think that you should do. But at the end of the day, if it's if it's biblical and what God says to do, then you know that you're on the right side, regardless of how they feel. So, um, and then, hey, and if, and if, if that's not the case for some reason or whatever, you know, if you come out to be wrong for some reason or something like that, at the end of the day, it goes back to that very, very first verse. We each have our own, uh, we 
we each bear our own load. And so, you know, it's your life, you know, you are an individual, um, and it's your choice at the end of the day, like whatever it is. So, uh, I don't know. That's just my little chat about boundaries, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I hope that encourages you and inspires you this morning. Um, because as I say sometimes, that is the juice. Now, the Bible verse of today is Philippians 8, uh, 4 and 8. It says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things friends i hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning thank you so much for listening to god sex and love your daily dose of inspiration the juice i pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day and i look forward to talking to you all tomorrow with the lord's will bye-bye to get my nails done oh i know i went to unwindselfcare.com and got my 100 percent nail polish strips thanks unwind self-care